There's just something inherently wonderful about penguins. Up next, we pay a visit to the Long Island Aquarium in Riverhead, where you can waddle in for free if it's your birthday. Stay with us on the East End, here on News 12 Long Island. A bird's eye view of a place that features a lot of fish. Welcome back to the East End here on News 12 Long Island. Let's pay a visit now to the Long Island Aquarium in Riverhead. Open uh, since 2000, so 15 years have gone by. Really, the project started, you know, 20 years ago with, uh, with Jim Bissett really uh, having the vision that uh, we're surrounded by water and figured, you know, we need an aquarium on Long Island. So he set on a mission to, to build an aquarium and, and connect it with a few of the right people. Of course, the Petroselli family that, uh, you know, is a top construction company on Long Island. And we've more than tripled in size now, the aquarium, since we opened in 2000. And uh, proud to say that, you know, we keep getting people coming back every year, loving the interactive level of the aquarium and the things that we offer, you know, diving with sharks and snorkeling. From day one was the main exhibit building, which houses the sharks and also houses uh, the sea lions. And, yeah, every year we've been adding new exhibits. So if you haven't been here in five years or ten years, uh, you wouldn't recognize the place. So that, that's one of the things we like to encourage is people to, to return and see what's what we've added, and also the animals have matured. The sharks are huge now. So when we first opened, they were, you know, four feet long maybe. Now they're eight and 400 pounds, so. Wow. That, that's still, I imagine, from day one, it's been one of the most popular attractions, the sharks? The sharks, for sure. Yeah, they, they strike that inherent fear in us. Uh, we have the shark dive now, which is really exciting. You can actually go diving in a cage with our dive instructors. It gets you right up close and personal with them. This area we're standing in right here, uh, in the beginning, this was not even developed, right? Yeah, this was just landscaping when we first opened. This was uh, just shrubs and bushes and a little walkway. Uh, this exhibit we, we added in 2004. Uh, it's an 80,000 gallon saltwater tank and you can jump in with a mask and snorkel and swim with all kinds of marine tropical fish and coral reef fish and some small sharks and small stingrays. You can look at that fish tank all you want through the glass, but until, when you're in the water with them, Totally different experience. Some of the exhibits that have been here from day one with the clownfish and enemy tank, which now forever since we opened is now known as the Nemo tank, of course. Uh, you can hear the kids screaming Nemo through the wall here behind the scenes. So that's really great to hear that excitement of the, the kids, and that's what we really want to do here. We want to educate the people, but also entertain them. We've got the piranhas, the octopus, the sharks, uh, penguins, uh, the, the live coral reef tank, which is my obsession, a little over 20,000 gallons. We've got uh, turtles, we've got uh, birds and butterflies now, beautiful butterfly aviary. And bugs, I noticed, that's a new exhibit as well? Yeah, bugs are being incorporated into the, uh, the butterfly display. This is called a Hercules beetle. He's from South America, and that is the boy. This is the girl right here. They look very different, but he's got these great big horns, which he uses to fight off other boys over the attention of girls. Oh, really? Now, it almost looks like a lobster claw or something. It right? does, but if you, you know, he uses him as a defense, so he'll basically, when he's really threatened, he'll kind of stick his horn way up. You're not agitating him, are you right now? A little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> he can deal with it. So, Neela has a really special story. She was a stranded pup. Um, in Southern California. They found her on a beach in Santa Barbara and she was malnourished, she was starving, emaciated, and they deemed her non-releasable. She wasn't a good candidate to be released back to the wild. So they contacted us to see if we wanted to give her home and I said absolutely. How she adapted with her new family here? She seems to be doing really, really well. She's getting along with the adult uh, sea lions. She's doing great in our shows and uh, seems to be getting really comfortable here. Whoa, hold on. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more fun at the Long Island Aquarium in Riverhead. You're watching the East End Show here on News 12 Long Island. All right, kids. Welcome back to the East End here on News 12 Long Island. We continue our visit to the Long Island Aquarium in Riverhead, which is celebrating its 15th anniversary. One of the most popular exhibits features penguins. This is Pam. Pam was our firstborn penguin here at the aquarium. Uh, and she's now uh, flat five and a half years old. Wow! So yeah, she's like the elder stateswoman of the group here. Right? Yeah, she, she's she's the one in charge. She rules. She rules the exhibit for the most part. And just for the record, Pam from the office. Pam right? from the office. She's a she's an absolute sweetheart, uh, but she also has a bit of an edge to her. And who's the colleagues here? Uh, we've got Sheldon and Kevin. Kevin from the office. Uh, Sheldon, Maggie's a big fan of uh, 
big fan of the Big Bang Theory. So Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. It's one well. of your quirks here, right? All your penguins are named for TV characters. Yes, from really good shows. So the show has to be great first. So we have the uh, Seinfeld, uh, The Office, and now Modern Family. Penguins always get a big crowd. People are fascinated by the penguins. Yes. Yeah, there's just something inherently wonderful about penguins. This, I don't know of anybody that doesn't like a penguin. They just strike a nerve in us when just the way they walk and they interact. and uh, They seem to be like fascinated by the crowd also. Yes. We, we hand-raised these guys here. They were all born here at the aquarium. And um, so they're part of our community. We're part of theirs. So they, they're social like this, and they, they do love to hang out with us and check things out. So right. Sheldon's on his way. I think they've decided to go back to the exhibit. <laughs> the foundation uh, is basically the only organization that's authorized to respond to sick or injured whales, dolphins, seals, and sea turtles for all of New York State. So that means we can go out to Montauk, up to Hudson, Staten Island, and, and unfortunately in recent years we've been doing a lot of that all on the same day, and we couldn't do this without the help of the public knowing to call us, knowing to leave these animals alone on the beach, and reporting animals that they see that they think are healthy. Another benefit of being here at the aquarium is that we have so much more exposure to the public and we have this opportunity to interact and educate children and adults. And having those, that kind of um, asset here as far as the aquarist really has helped our program grow immensely. Talk about the hotel. When did, when did that come about? Well, you know, that was all phase two going into this. And it's a Hyatt hotel. We get people from all over the world coming to the hotel. I mean, Hyatt's an international brand and they're coming from Great Britain, Canada, Germany, this area right behind you, uh, that you've kind of developed that too, where it's nice kind of just hang out and relax. This is great. Our, our uh, canoe and kayak rental business here, stand-up paddle boarding. We have night tours that go out and full moon nights. So we're really uh, developing that nicely. We have rocking on the River at our outside grill by the pool over here. So we have music Thursday nights live, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're right here on the Peconic River, which by itself is an attraction. So we've got the boardwalk down there. We've got our interactive marsh tank where you go through the exhibit. Out back, we've got the Atlantis Explorer tour boat, uh, rock climbing wall, ice cream shop. So yeah, plenty of time to just be intense with some things here and then, uh, and then spend a the day just relaxing also. Is this way beyond what you expected or did you envision that Long Island had this potential? Uh, we definitely envisioned the potential. And uh, with Jimmy and Joe Petroselli, um, you know, just really super tremendous guys and creative guys. But I think in some ways we've exceeded our expectations for sure. We take great pride in that it's, it's, we built it ourselves, literally from the ground up with just sketches on loose leaf paper. The Long Island Aquarium is located right on Main Street or Route 25 in Riverhead. They're open year round. For more information, call 631 208 9200. Check out their website, longislandaquarium.com or go to our website, news12.com, click on Features, then East End.